Hello and welcome to this channel. I hope you enjoy the story. I'm going to try and upload each day. Monster of the Attic The young boy, whose name was Thomas, was bored. He had been cooped up in the house all day while his parents were at work. He had finished all his homework and there was nothing on TV. He decided to go up to the attic and see if there was anything interesting up there. The attic was dark and dusty and Thomas had to use a flashlight to see. He rummaged around in boxes and old furniture, but he didn't find anything interesting. Just when he was about to give up, he saw a book in the corner. It was old and leather-bound, and it had a strange symbol on the cover. Thomas picked up the book and opened it. The pages were filled with strange symbols and writing that he didn't understand. He started to read, and he soon realized that the book was about dark magic. It contained spells and rituals for summoning evil spirits. Thomas was fascinated by the book. He had never read anything like it before. He started to experiment with the spells, and he soon discovered that he was able to summon the spirits. At first, the spirits were just harmless shadows. But as Thomas continued to use the book, the spirits became more powerful. They started to possess Thomas, and he began to change. Thomas's skin became pale, and his eyes turned black. He grew taller and stronger and his teeth became sharp. He became more and more aggressive, and he started to enjoy hurting people. He would often go out at night and terrorize the town. The townspeople were terrified of Thomas. They called him the monster of the attic. They tried to capture him, but he was always too quick for them. He would disappear into the shadows, and they would never see him again. One day, Thomas's parents came home from work and found him in the attic. He was surrounded by candles and symbols, and he was chanting in a strange language. They were horrified by what they saw. They tried to talk to Thomas, but he didn't seem to recognize them. He just stared at them with his cold black eyes. Thomas's parents knew that they had to do something. They couldn't let him continue to use the book. They took the book away from him and burned it. They thought that would be the end of it. But it wasn't. The spirits were still inside Thomas. They were just waiting for their chance to escape. One night, Thomas was sleeping in his bed when he had a nightmare. In a nightmare, the spirits were chasing him. He ran and ran, but they were always right behind him. He woke up in a cold sweat, and he knew that something was wrong. He got out of bed and went to the mirror. He looked at his reflection, and he saw that the spirits had taken over his body. His skin was pale, his eyes were black, and his teeth were sharp. He was the monster of the attic. Thomas ran out of the house and into the night. He didn't know what to do. He didn't want to be the monster of the attic. He wanted to be himself again. He ran and ran until he came to the forest. He hid in the trees, hoping that the spirits would leave him alone. But they didn't. They followed him into the forest, and they surrounded him. Thomas knew that he was going to die. He closed his eyes and waited for the end. But then he heard a voice. Thomas, the voice said, You don't have to do this. Thomas opened his eyes and saw a figure standing in front of him. It was a man, but he was different from anyone Thomas had ever seen before. He had long, white hair and beard, and his eyes were a deep blue. Who are you? Thomas asked. I am the wizard, the man said. I have been watching you. I know what you have done, and I know what you are going through. Can you help me? Thomas asked. Yes, the wizard said. But it will not be easy. You will have to fight the spirits inside you, and you will have to face your own darkness. Thomas took a deep breath. I'm ready, he said. The wizard smiled. Good, he said. Then let us begin. The wizard led Thomas through the forest, and they came to a clearing. In the middle of the clearing was a large tree. This is a tree of life, the wizard said. It is the only thing that can defeat the spirits. Thomas looked at the tree. It was old and gnarled, and it looked like it had been there for centuries. How is this going to help me? Thomas asked. The tree of life is a symbol of good, the wizard said. It will give you the strength to fight the spirits. Thomas reached out and touched the tree. He felt a surge of power flow through him. I can feel it, he said. Good, the wizard said. 
Now close your eyes and focus on the spirits inside you. Thomas closed his eyes and concentrated. He could feel the spirit swirling around inside him like a dark cloud. I am not afraid of you, he said. I am the light and you are the darkness. I will defeat you. Thomas opened his eyes and took a deep breath. He could see the spirits now. They were black and twisted and they were filled with hatred. Come to me, Thomas said. I am ready for you. The spirits rushed at Thomas, but he was ready for them. He raised his hands, and the tree of life glowed with power. The spirits hit the tree like a wave, but they couldn't break through. They were repelled by the light of the tree. No, the spirits cried. You can't defeat us, I can, and I will, Thomas said. I am the light, and you are the darkness. I will always triumph over you. The spirits roared in anger, but they were no match for Thomas. He continued to focus on the tree of life, and the spirits were slowly pushed back. Finally, the spirits were defeated. They were banished from Thomas's body, and they disappeared into the darkness. Thomas stood there for a moment, breathing heavily. He had done it. He had defeated the spirits. He was free. He turned to the wizard. Thank you, he said. You saved my life. You are welcome, the wizard said. Now go and live your life in peace. Thomas smiled. He knew that he would never forget what had happened to him. But he also knew that he was stronger now. He had faced his darkness and he had triumphed. He was ready to start a new life. Thomas walked out of the forest and into the sunlight. He took a deep breath of fresh air. He was free. He was alive. And he was ready to face whatever the future held. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.